talk a little bit about um, about the electronics inside. Is it is it basically a, uh, a, oh, a PC board? Yeah, when we first started out, you know, we designed pretty much all our own electronics. So we had custom ASIC for doing the graphics. But over the years, it becomes harder and harder to compete with what's available uh, in the way of motherboards and their costs um, and video cards. Uh, so we use uh, Intel motherboards. They're pretty much uh, off-the-shelf motherboards. Very much the same electronics uh, that you'd have at home. Uh, regular NVIDIA video cards, which is another change uh, that we came up with a few years ago. Um, as the video cards got better and better, we decided we'd go widescreen along with them. But rather than trying to, to source our own displays, um, we allow the operators who, who buy these games to go out and buy the televisions that they like so they can see various uh, sizes and uh, resolutions. And What's your biggest engineering challenge today? Keeping up with the changes. <laughs> and some of the uh, boards changed recently. Uh, you know, we're looking at uh, progressing to Intel's Sandy Bridge uh, chipset, and that's required a lot of software changes as well. It's a completely different architecture, but it should also allow us to uh, get better performance than we've had in the past, too. In terms of the machines that are being deployed in, in bars, is, is there that type of connect kind of uh, MEMS-based interface yet? Not really. Uh, it's a little bit harsher environment. Uh, we've, we've used accelerometers for some prototypes, but uh, they really haven't been embraced uh, as well as the trackball, which uh, is pretty durable. Uh, we've had to uh, talk to some of our suppliers over the year, and they've had to redesign it to make it more durable. Or in the early years, when the guys were getting really aggressive, they hit the trackball hard enough, they'd push it right through the bottom of the case. From, from a design standpoint, you must constantly be grappling with uh, durability versus usability, right? Like, Absolutely. I mean, you, you could do all this in a, in a touch screen, but touch screen's probably not going to last very long, right? Right. It might not last, and they might not... They may not like the interface, they may not be physical enough for them. Hmm. Uh, some, some people really like the way the, the trackball works and the feel. One of the things we did that was different than anybody else at the time is we uh, connected our games up to the internet via modem. Um, so we had dial-up modems, or landline modems installed in those games back then. And uh, the t games would call in once a night and upload scores and we'd run a tournament based on that information. When we started uh, our latest golf game um, in 2005, um, we went with the title Golden Tee Live because really all they have to do is wheel our game into a location and plug it in and they're online because they all come equipped with a uh, wireless modem. We have to innovate every year uh, when it comes to our courses to try to keep them challenging and keep our players interested in the game. The other thing they can do that we started a year or two ago was um, they can upload hole-in-one shots to YouTube. The competition becomes more and more intense every year, and not necessarily with uh, video games like this, but uh, with cell phones and uh, iPads and different types of products that people bring with them into the bars, as well as jukeboxes and